Hey, it's Sarah here. Um, I want to welcome you to another Brave Girl Dynasty. I don't know which way the title will be. Brave Girl Dynasty Beach Body Coach Training. Um, this one is going to be on the importance of building a solid foundation and what happened to me when I didn't do that <laughs> in my first business. Alrighty, so um, as you know, I got started uh, with a different company first, and I this is my fifth year in business now. Um, I know some of you are like me and you're just you're you're when you're on it you're like ready to take off running and you're ready to go 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 now 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 like guns blazing I totally get it pump the brakes compadre cuz <laughs> we want to make sure that you um how do I put this you're building on a solid foundation this business is not a get rich quick scheme. There's a Proverbs on that, actually, a Proverbs. Um, something about money made quickly. Money made quickly will like sprout wings or something like that. I, let me find it because I'm sure I'm misquoting that. But wealth built slowly is like a good thing, and I won't find that Proverbs. Anyways, needless to say, you should be accumulating this slowly and steadily because otherwise what's going to happen from my personal experience is you might start here and you might go Whoom, and have really great success and it's totally not sustainable and then you're going to go <coughs> crash into oblivion can't do it and it's just going to be the cycle of up down up down up down can't do it okay I'm, I'm ready for the next thing I'm really awesome we're going to <coughs> no what you want to do is you want to start here and you want to build slowly and steadily and be able to sustain it because that is the key to building a long-term sustaining wealth building business is is laying it on a proper foundation now when I first got started in business I had zero clue what I was doing I got started and I was like cool well I guess I should get a printer you know like that was my business mindset I'm like I don't need training I'm totally fine uh, if you're just getting started, by the way, and you've never been in business, or even if you have, the number one thing you should be doing is getting training every, every single day, training yourself. Because if you work harder on yourself than on anyone else, you're going to be unusually successful. You should be doing personal development like it's your job. That's the first thing. Before you even worry about business, do personal development. That's one hour a day. I swear by that. Um, when I say that we're going to build a solid foundation in business, it means that w you're going to have systems set up and in place so that when you start getting and building, you're not wasting time. You need to learn how to leverage your time for business so that you're not working 40, 60, 80 hours a week like some of the other companies are doing. You know, some people... For example, I'm going to be very, very frank with you. When I got started, I had no idea. I didn't know about autoresponder emails or I didn't, I didn't know about any of that. And so I was personally responding to every single email that came in, answering the same questions with the same information and taking all this time to type it out, every single person. Can you see where my time is getting sucked then? It's not on going out, meeting new people, building business, helping my clients, it was on responding to emails, responding to emails. 300 a day, getting, uh, it's a little overwhelming. Uh, you know, because I had learned some marketing techniques without the right systems in place. If you just, if you just go out and you're like, I'm going to advertise, I'm going to do this, that's great. You do that. You're going to get so many people, you're not going to know what to do with them. You're going to get burnt out, and then you're going to be back to square one watching this video so you can do it right the first time. So I'm telling you, it is extremely, extremely, extremely important to build the foundation the right way. Um, in the uh, in the Brave Girl Dynasty, um, the blueprint for success, that is your absolute thing. I know it says 30 days, but think of it more like 30 modules. So essentially, um, if you miss, so say it's like module three, which is what we're going to call it instead of day. Because I don't, maybe it's going to take you more than 30 days, but you cannot skip around. You have to follow it all in its entirety. Um, entirety. And so don't go on to number four, five, six until you finish number three. You see what I'm saying? It's very important to do these things in order to get things down and do it correctly. Um, 
So that's all in the blueprint because what happened to me was I got burnt out. And sure, I started making quite a bit of money a month. You know, when you first start to get through like the breakthrough and you first start to hit momentum. Oh, I hit momentum and I hit momentum big and I, my website like crashed because I had so many people visiting it. I didn't know what to do with all this stuff. And then I had to take steps back and be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? You know, so anyways. So I'm just trying to tell you, like, yes, building is awesome, and I know you're really excited, but tone it down. We're going to do it steady. We're going to do it the right way. Make sure that you're going through the Smarter Networker 30-day boot camp, and it's going to happen. It's going to come about. Just keep talking to people every day. Get their information down, um, and follow the training, because that's... That's how we're going to do it. We're going to build this together, and it's going to be good. And you can learn from my mistakes so that nobody has that happen to them, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you very much for watching this forewarning video. That's important to build on a solid foundation. That's also a biblical principle, by the way. You cannot build on sinking sand. Otherwise, what's your house going to do? It's going it's to sink into the sand. You want to build on solid ground. So just remember that. You're building on solid ground. It might take a little bit longer initially, but you are going to be so grateful later on that you did. So thank you for watching. Um, best of luck. Remember, just stay focused. Take some deep breaths. You've got this.